Here's the answer to yesterday's question of the day, dealing with the regions of the adrenal gland. The question asks, which hormone is secreted from the zona fasciculata of the adrenal gland? So you got to know your hormones and then you got to know what type of hormones they are. So let's talk about that. So if I just draw part of an individual right here, this is going to draw the trunk, here are the feet, the hands would be up here, and then we have two organs right here. What are these two organs? Those are going to be the kidneys. And then what's the name of this gland that sits on top of it? Well, those are going to be the adrenal glands. What's another name for the adrenal glands? Another name is the supra. What's supra mean? Supra renal gland as well too. Supra superior above renal. What's that referring to? To the kidney. So supra renal means above the kidney. So it has two names as well too. So let's enlarge this and uh, take a look at this gland and see what's the different regions of it. Alright, so remember the kidney is here underneath it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the different regions. Inside here, this area is going to be called the medulla. The medulla of anything is the inside, the center of it. For example, the kidney below has a medulla to it as well too. And then the outer region here of the adrenal gland, this area here, this is going to be called the cortex. Just like the kidney below has a cortex, that's just the outer thick region. So, for example, if you have, let's say, a ball like this, the center of the ball or anything, that's the medulla. And then the outer side here, that's the cortex of it. For example, an orange peel, right? The orange peel would be the cortex, and then the fruit on the inside would be the medulla. So the cortex is divided into three regions that go around it. There's the inside layer, and then this line here divides the middle from the outside layer. Okay, so here are the name of these layers. The first layer here, we call this the zona glomerulosa. Bit of a tough word. The next layer here, we call the zona fasic and then the next zone here we call the zona reticularis because there's a lot of reticular fibers here the cells are arranged in fascicles and here the cells look like glomerulus shaped but first let's discuss what we have in the medulla in the medulla here we are secreting adrenaline which is also known as epinephrine. So technically epinephrine is actually about 80% of the secretion and then 20% of it would be norepinephrine or also known as noradrenaline right here. There is also some dopamine come here. If you want to know more about the adrenal medulla, they come from neural crest cells. They are also considered post-sympathetic uh, neurons that are modified. And if you really, really want to know more, you should study the, the enzyme tyrosine and study its pathway, how it's converted into all these other neurotransmitters, or should we say hormones, because they're being released into the blood. Okay, so I noticed I messed something up. It's fasciculata, not latte. I could definitely go for a caramel latte this morning but fasciculata. And now for the cortical zones. In the zona glomerulosa here we have mineral corticoids. Corticoids because it's coming from the cortex. Mineral, well what's the mineral we're going to regulate here? It's actually Na+, which is sodium, and the hormone for that is aldosterone. Rhone, regulates the sodium reabsorption in the nephrons. So basically we are regulating the concentration of salt in the body. In the zona fasciculata we are going to have glucocorticoids and the specific glucocorticoid of concern is cortisol. So that helps to regulate sugar in the body. And then not much room here but 
we are going to have androgens. The androgens are what regulate the sex hormones in the body, such as testosterone and estrogen. So if you look here, we're going from the outside, start at salt, down to sugar and sex hormones. So over here we have salt and then sugar and then sex hormones. So here's a very popular mnemonic that a lot of people like and that is the deeper you go the what the sweeter it gets you can see why a lot of people like that one so you're going from salt to sugar to sex and don't be like one of my students and ask me I thought the deeper the sweeter why is sugar not the deepest well there's your next uh, 40 year old virgin and if that student is watching this video I apologize it was just a joke Anyways, let's just recap. So, zona glomerulosa, mineral corticoid. Why mineral? Because sodium is a mineral that's being regulated. Gluco, that's easy to remember because it's sugar, just like glucose. Androgens. Now, look at this. You have the word corticoids, corticoids, referring to the core text. But why does this not have it? Well, if you want the word with corticoids, there is another name, and I know it's getting messy, but you can write corticosteroids which is the same thing and there you go cortico because the androgens are steroids which are derived from cholesterol and there it is sterol from cholesterol so how do you go about remembering G and then F and then R the layers right G F R well if you studied the kidneys yet you know in the kidneys there's something you measure here called glomerular filtration rate which is very important and if not you will get to it and you'll definitely remember it uh, the other one I was thinking about is gopher g-o-p-h-e-r right looks like a gopher kinda sounds like that and why is gopher neat because they dig holes right they bury so the gopher is going down in and digging a hole g-f-r okay so let's go answer a question so it's asking about the zona fasciculata so let's uh, use our mnemonics here so if we draw out again our adrenal gland like this and here's the insides the medulla and we divide up the layers goes all the way around the outside we're gonna have G F R remember gopher or a glomerular filtration rate and then we said the deeper we go the sweeter it gets but sugar is not on the inside sex is sweeter then we have sugar right above it and then salt all right so the deeper the sweeter uh, what's the salt? That's going to be sodium. The sugar is glucose, right? So glucocorticoid, so that's going to be cortisol. So you just jump around here, fill it out. Uh, this is going to be aldosterone. This is going to be your androgen. So let's go back to the question. We want the zona fasciculata, so that's F. We're looking for glucocorticoids and we're looking for cortisol. So aldosterone, no. Skip all those. Cortisol, yes. Uh, adrenaline and epi, where's that coming from? That's coming from the medulla. Which one's the majority of it? Well, it's going to be adrenaline. How do you remember? Because it's called the adrenal gland. So adrenaline's the majority, which is about 80%. What else comes from there? Noradrenaline, which is about the 20%. And remember, in the sympathetic nervous system, the majority of your neurotransmitter here is actually noradrenaline. In the adrenal gland, the majority is adrenaline. But going back to the question, all right, we got cortisol, cortisol. What is it regulating? It's regulating sugar. So the answer is choice E. And the last thing to note, don't confuse adrenaline and epinephrine. They are exactly the same thing, just two different names for the same hormone. Why do I say hormone? Because they're going into the blood. If this was in the nervous system, they would be called neurotransmitters. Same exact thing here, right? Nor epinephrine, that's the same thing as nor adrenaline. Now that you know this information, make sure you go to my website, www.profroofs.com, and click on the question of the day, and you should be able to answer today's question of the day. Choose your answer, and after you choose your answer, click vote, and then view the results. Thank you for watching and feel free to contact me anytime by email at my website or on Twitter. And I'll hopefully get back to you within 24 hours. Take care.